Hey cuties and welcome back to another creator sim video. As always with my videos you can find links to all of the CC that I'll be using today in the description down below. I'll also make sure to link you to a playlist full of my previous creator sim videos so you can go check those out if you would like to. But without further ado let's get straight into this i hope you're all doing well i'm extremely excited to be back with another greatest in video because it has honestly been so long <laughs> i don't know <laughs> way too long i used to do these like technically once a week i feel like and i miss them it is so much fun to just go in and create a sim and i feel like today's sim turned out incredibly cute so i hope you guys like her i i just get so excited as well to like dress them up i don't know there's something very special about it okay it's like a grown woman's doll dressing up version i guess <laughs> So I love it. It's very nice. It's also cool to just like experiment with styles or things you wouldn't wear yourself, I guess. It's just like a nice, nice thing to do. Nice fashion thing to do, I guess. So it's always fun. I really enjoyed doing her party wear, especially, which it always turns out that way. Like every time I create a sim, I end up loving the party wear the most. So that's that. <laughs> I, I don't know if it is necessarily my favorite outfit of hers. I feel like a lot of them are very cute. I try to keep the colors more like beige and purple-ish because I ended up giving her purple hair. There's like this really nice shade of purple with a hairstyle that I picked that I just think looked so stunning on her. So I just had to have it. And then when I went into dressing her, I was like, mm, if you have colorful hair, you really need to think about what colors to put on the sim. So if you yourself have dyed your hair some colorful color, wow. <laughs> Um, I'm sure you experience the same things because like colors you might have previously worn might not suit the hair color that you have and then especially I feel like the longer the hair gets the more of an issue it becomes like if you have short hair I feel like it doesn't matter as much because it's not that close to your clothing clothing items um, but anyways I tried to you know therefore just keep it in the beiges beiges what's the plural beiges beiges uh, who knows i don't obviously <laughs> which i would like to say i don't usually do but i definitely do i love my beige colors i love anything that's like autumnal i love earthy colors it's just totally my gem like i think you can't go wrong with beige okay <laughs> it's just so stunning um but yeah i really enjoyed dressing her up i think maybe my favorite look of hers is her hot weather wear we end up using this like uh, using oh my god i'm just what happened there? I end up picking out this long skirt for her. There we go. Got it out in the end. That I just thought looked so cute. I, mean, I don't know. I'm just excited for it. It's also 8 p.m. now. Um, I've literally been in the last few days just been up working, recording voiceovers, creating CC lists. All of that has just been <laughs> the only thing I've been doing. I really need to do some like last minute things tomorrow. Like I need to clean the kitchen and stuff like that, which I'm not excited about. But who's ever excited? I mean, I guess there is some weirdos out there who love cleaning their apartments. Yeah, <laughs> I'm throwing shade. Like, I don't even care. It will just never make sense to me when people enjoy it. Like, I try to, like, I put my headphones on, blast some loud music. I really, really try to make it as enjoyable as possible, but it, I just always hate it. It's never, like, anything good. I mean, there's one good part, which is after you're done and everything looks nice and squeaky clean and you're like, nice, now I feel comfortable. But, <laughs> you know, the whole process of getting there... I don't know, um, probably will just never be my favorite thing and I, yeah, th that's just that. <laughs> I always hate it, I guess. There's no hope for me to ever enter my clean girl era where I actually enjoy doing things. I also need to do some food shopping tomorrow and stuff like that. My boyfriend is going to be here sometime after 7pm, I believe, so I will have literally all day to get things done, but... I also just really crave relaxing, which I know I can do when he's here and then there's literally no plans that whole first week. I mean, my roommate is moving in the day after my boyfriend visits, so <laughs> there's that. That's going to be a big change, but 
other than that, there's literally no plans for that week, so we can just do whatever we feel like. I think he wanted to go to the cinema or something like that. I am hoping that the weather is quite nice so we can go for a lot of walks, because I feel like walks, the older I get, the more I enjoy them. <laughs> Maybe it's like an old people thing, who knows? I just think it's so nice to get a bit of fresh air, especially now that the air gets a lot warmer. I don't know, I feel like you can really notice the shift in the air, if that makes sense. Um, even when it's like 12 degrees now, it doesn't feel as bitingly cold as it used to just a few weeks ago. So that's obviously nice. I feel like you can definitely sit out and read a book for a little bit before it gets too cold, especially if the sun's out, it can get very warm, which I'm excited about somewhat. I don't like the summer. Last year I was not shutting up about how much I hate the summer. So I'm not looking forward to that. But spring, spring is a nice season. Apart from, you know, the endless freaking jacket on, jacket off, jacket on, jacket off <laughs> dilemma. Because <laughs> you always have a jacket and then it gets sunny and you're like, oh, I'm too warm. Let me take my jacket off. And then you just end up carrying your jacket around for the majority of your time out. And then the sun is hidden behind a cloud and you're like, oh, it's freezing. I need my jacket. So you need your jacket for like the whole five minutes of the walk. But without it, you would have been screwed because you would have been way too cold. Yes, that dilemma. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I just hate that. I way too often just keep my jacket on as well and then get way too hot because I just don't want to carry it. There's just something really bothering about having to carry your jacket. <laughs> You're just like, no, this is supposed to be on me. I'm not supposed to like have to hold on to this all day long. But anyways, like if it wasn't for that, I would love spring. I love the temperatures. I love how sometimes there's just like rain showers. I just think it's nice and cozy and like obviously seeing all the flowers and stuff is just so pretty. So I do love that. But once we enter into summer, I already know that I'll be wanting autumn and winter back because I'm one of those people who doesn't mind the cold. Like, I hate it at home, don't get me wrong. Like, I hate feeling cold and this year, I've had a heated blanket for like four years now or something and this year it broke. But it broke like towards the end of the summer or what I thought was the end of the summer and then it ended up being colder for much longer. <laughs> so would have probably been worth it to buy a new one but I was like I'm not gonna get one now just to have it laying around the whole summer and probably like half of autumn until it gets cold enough to use it again but usually I don't mind it I just get curled up in my warm heated blanket and just enjoy doing like comfy cozy indoor stuff <laughs> so I don't mind the winter autumn I absolutely adore I mean I am a fall baby after all, so I feel like I'm just programmed to love the fall, but <laughs> I don't know though, because I feel like some people don't like the season they were born in. Um, I do think most people do at least enjoy it if it's not their favorite season. If you're still here, let me know what season you were born in and if that is your favorite season or not, because I'd be very curious to hear that. I'd be curious to hear if when you were born actually does make a difference on what weather you enjoy because <laughs> i feel like i guess it does have an impact on like your very early early memory or not memories because you can't really remember it but like the first kind of things you see of the world you know will be the season you're born in unless you were born right on the bridge to the next season i suppose but <laughs> I'm just babbling about such random things today. My apologies. I feel like my brain is just fried after having done nothing but look at Sims and find CC links all day every day for a few days now. I'm just ready to do something else for a little bit, you know, even though I do enjoy creating Sims, I have been itching to build something as well. I I always forget how much I love building in The Sims. I don't forget but I suppose I don't really have the time to do it because if I game these days I often just game things with friends which is obviously not The Sims. <laughs> so I'm just playing something completely different to The Sims or I'm working on Sims videos or I'm doing something for uni but I haven't actually looked into the was it called for rent i think so it's expansion pack that much i got it installed it looked at it a bit and found myself quite bored of it and i think the consensus in the sims community is that it's not the greatest pack of them all so i guess i didn't miss out that much but i kind of just want to build like an apartment complex or i also think it's so cute to have like 
a tiny like mock village because you could just build a bunch of like small tiny homes and fill them all up with different people maybe we could do that if i ever did a let's play again i definitely want to do that because then on your lot there's going to be so many different people just coming in and out i feel like that's just going to make it feel a lot more lively especially if you pick a huge lot to build on you could build literally so many little like bungalows tiny homes stuff like that. it's just so cute or i guess like a huge apartment complex like i said but I'd, i don't know if that would frustrate me more <laughs> i feel like i like when my sims have their own little space and i don't have to scroll through like multiple floors to find my sim <laughs> I have like a lot of visual clutter of all of the other apartments. I mean, you can't really see into the apartments, but still, I would know they're there. So I don't know. I just think a little like Bok Village is so cute. And it's it's really nice that you can do that now, even though I don't know if that is enough content for an expansion pack necessarily. But hey, when like what expansion pack in The Sims 4 ever had enough content <laughs> to warrant it being an expansion pack and being sold for the price it has oh my god that is my alarm going off very sorry actually the alarm for today's video which you saw two weeks ago I believe <laughs> my makeup collection there you go getting like all the inside info I always have to set alarms like five minutes before a video goes up because otherwise I will literally just forget to advertise it anywhere because my mind's just unscrambled I can never remember things and then often I just get lost in doing something and then it's three hours later and I'm like whoopsie <laughs> my bad but anyways <laughs> The video is coming to an end real soon here. I hope you like the sims I created today because I think she's gorgeous. Let me know what your favorite outfit of hers is. And yeah, with that said, if you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you all next time. Bye. Maybe time make you fade, but I don't know if I'm ready to just let you go away. Like my friends think I should. What if I just want to be with you? I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do But honestly, I can't remember if you love me Or maybe I'm just feeling lonely, I don't know Just let her go She got herself a guy And he's good, no, he's great Everything she wanted packed behind a pretty face but I kind of hope he 